Hey there guys, I'm here to go and do another game review, but this time it's special. Due to the delay of Sai Cooper 4 at Thieves in Time, I will be doing a review of all three of the Sly games in, in the celebration of Sly Cooper's 10th anniversary. Sony delayed Sly Cooper 4 at Thieves in Time was because they wanted it to release in early 2013 because they wanted it to, you know, it it w w would be in the nice release window for them. But they just threw Sly's 10th anniversary right out the window and we have to go and wait even longer to go and get our hands on the game itself. And uh, Sony, yeah, it speaks for itself. Anyways, today I will be talking about the one that started it all, Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus. Now before I say anything, I will be playing the HD collection. So, let's get this trilogy of reviews started. So back in the days when I sounded even squeakier, my next door neighbor had Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus and Sly 2 Band of Thieves. I watched him play the Panda King boss fight in Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus. I was so amazed on how colorful it was in the gameplay. As I walked home, I just wanted that game. One day, me and my brother were at Target. I completely forgot about the game that I saw at my neighbor's house. My brother then ran up to me with Sly 1 and Sly 2. I didn't know what he was talking about when he said Sly game. I then looked at the back of the box and I realized it was Sly Cooper. When we got home, we popped the game in and we played it for months. Until the games broke and we had to go and buy replacements. So yeah, that's basically my backstory on Sly 1 and 2, kind of. Brings back all nostalgic memories for me and I love it. The storyline starts with you as Sly Cooper trying to receive some police files from Carmelita, a cop bent on capturing Sly Cooper. Sly goes into the police station as you learn the tutorials of the game. Once you get the police files, Carmelita catches you and she chases after you. As you get into the team van, you escape with Carmelita left in the dust. With the police files, he can regain his family's most prized possession. Sly then goes into a flashback when he was a kid. There was a book called The Thieves Raccoonus. Sly comes from a long line of master thieves and they kept their thieving moves inside of that book. The night Sly was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came knocking on his door. Sly's father fought his best, but the gang called the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked the house for the book. Each member tore the book into five pieces and disappeared into the farthest corners of the world. Sly was poor and alone and he ended up in a foster home. That's where he met his longtime and best friends, Bentley, the brains of the operation, and Murray, the muscle. Together they pledged to track down the fiendish five and avenge Sly's father. He knew that this was going to be the toughest challenge of his life. As you beat each member of the Fiendish Five, you get a piece of the Thieves Raccoonus. Once you face the last member, Clockwork, you have gotten the last piece of the Thieves Raccoonus. So yeah, that's the plot of Sly 1. It's very simple, but very cool. The gameplay is split into many different types, but I'm only going to talk about the main one. I'll brief up on the other kinds of the gameplay, but let's start off with the main one. And the main kind of gameplay is you being at Sly Cooper, going through the level with a mixed kind of gameplay with stealth and platforming. As Sly, it's your job to go through the level, avoid the dangerous obstacles, and get to the end of the level to collect the key to advance through the story. The other kinds of gameplay vary from a submarine, turret gun missions, which are very fun, and Murray race track races, and etc. So the other kinds of gameplay are fun, but you can't beat the main gameplay. So yeah, the other kinds of gameplay are fun, but the main one is the best. So the gameplay varies, but in a good way. On the original
original PS2, the graphics look pretty good for its standards, but I highly suggest you get the PS3 version, just because it looks a lot better and cleaner. So the graphics overall on the PS2 are great, but the PS3 one is even greater. Alright, so we get to this point of the video, my overall thoughts. The storyline of the game is very awesome and it's very simple. The various kinds of gameplay is amazing and the graphics on the PS2 are great but on the PS3 they're five times better. So thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give that like button a little click. Be sure to go and follow me on my Facebook and Twitter for frequent updates on my future videos and uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the future. Game on gamers!